In this video, we'll introduce you to one of the most anticipated new features for V-Ray for Rhino, V-Ray Proxy. By using V-Ray proxies, you can now render scenes in Rhino that have millions upon millions of polygons, while having very little impact on the RAM of your computer. This is critical when using the 32-bit version of Rhino, and still very useful when using the 64-bit versions of Rhino. The V-Ray proxy is also known as a V-Ray mesh. V-Ray meshes are dynamic geometry and are stored as an external file on your hard disk. The meshes are loaded up during the rendering process. This is why V-Ray uses less RAM than you would expect. What is great about the V-Ray mesh is that you can create V-Ray meshes from your Rhino models or you can import V-Ray meshes made from V-Ray for 3D's Max and Maya. In addition to supporting V-Ray proxies, we have also optimized the V-Ray core, so that V-Ray will render dynamic geometries like proxies and displacement much faster. Here is a model of a LEGO car model that we are going to convert into a V-Ray proxy. Let's right-click on the V-Ray proxy icon to access the proxy options window. Give the proxy a name and then click OK to save the proxy. Notice that V-Ray automatically replaces the NURBS model with a V-Ray mesh. Now, with the V-Ray proxy in the scene, the viewport performance of Rhino is greatly improved and we are using less RAM. The original LEGO car model is a very high level of detail. When the NURBS model is converted to a Rhino render mesh, it has a total of 4.5 million polygons. With two copies of the car proxy object and a few extra pieces, we have around 10 million polygons in this scene. We could add several more instances of the LEGO car proxy and there is very little change in the viewport performance and RAM use. Let's render the scene. As you can see, while we are rendering, this is the amount of memory of RAM that we are using. We are not using much RAM, and the rendering time is very fast. Here is a high resolution rendering of the same scene. All of the details of the original model are there. The rendered V-Ray proxy has exactly the same level of detail as the original car model. Here is another image where we are using the V-Ray proxies for the grass and trees, as well as using displacement in other key areas of the scene. It is now possible to use high polygon models, like the trees and grass, for your architectural scenes. As you can see, with the new V-Ray proxy feature, you can now render very high polygon scenes in Rhino. We hope you enjoy this powerful new feature of V-Ray for Rhino.